So there's a video of Quavo in a heated argument prior to the fatal shooting that has now surfaced. Hey, what's up? I'm A Dub from DX Daily Podcast, and check this out. A video showing Quavo in a heated argument moments before takeoff was fatally shot has surfaced. In the clip obtained by TMZ, Quavo can be seen and heard arguing with someone outside the Houston bowling alley, where his nephew and Migos groupmate was killed in the early hours of Tuesday, November 1st. Takeoff can be seen standing just a few feet away from the tense exchange, which seemingly centered around basketball. Quavo, who was reportedly playing dice at the time, can be heard saying, At least one of the bullets struck takeoff either in the head or near to his head. When police arrived, he was pronounced dead at the scene. Two other victims were taken to nearby hospitals while Quavo escaped the shooting unharmed. Boxing star Shakur Stevenson was standing next to takeoff at the time of the shooting, but he too avoided injury. Taking the Twitter on Tuesday, he wrote RIP takeoff. Kevin Coach Keeley, co-founder of Quality Control Music, Migos label, issued a statement about Takeoff's death on behalf of the label, describing their devastation as a result of a stray bullet. It is with broken hearts and deep sadness that we mourn the loss of our beloved brother, Kirsnick Kari Ball, known to the world as Takeoff. Senseless violence and a stray bullet has taken another life from this world and we are devastated. Please respect his family and friends as we all continue to process this monumental loss. Fellow Quality Control founder Pierre P. Thomas also reacted to the 28-year-old rapper's sudden passing on Twitter, sharing a broken heart emoji. Sergeant Michael Arrington of the Houston Police Department called for witnesses to step up during a press conference on Tuesday, with the police report claiming 40 people attended the private party at the bowling alley. We're looking for any information at this time, any videos, uh, any, any information. Uh, we do know that the media has received a lot of phone calls, uh, text messages, Twitter, tweets, vines, videos. Um, we need all of y'all to send those to us so we can solve this case. Um, we're looking for anything to help us. From there, um, as the chief said, we want to find justice for this family. Uh, they're going through a lot right now, and uh, the only thing that we can do is hope that y'all reach out and assist us in any way to lead to evidence that will help us to apprehend and get charges and arrest on the person responsible for the death of takeoff. I just want to say something to uh, our city, it's Houston, and every brother and sister in the neighborhoods, I'm calling you to action to step up. There were 40 people at least at, at, at this event, and people left possibly out of fear. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.